Hi everybody, it's Alex Newton from Klytics, today with our Kindle Mark Trends for July 2021. So let's have a look. The market continues to be very strong. In fact, when we look at the Kindle Select Global Fund that represents all the royalties paid to authors and publishers that have chosen to go exclusive with Amazon, a value that you can take as an indicator of the overall Kindle platform, the month of June 2021 just finished as another highest ever month with $36.5 million being paid out. And if you take all the values for the first half year 2021, we get to $213 million. And if we make a projection based on the typical January to June year to date share of the full year that we observed in 2018, 19 and 20, we can expect for this year a total fund payout of $445 million and that would represent another 18% growth versus last year. I find this growth remarkable. Tell me one industry that's showing solid double digit growth in the current economic environment. Enough reason to look at some trends and developments that we see across category bestseller lists on the Kindle platform. Today let's focus on romance, mystery, thriller, suspense, science fiction, fantasy and teen young adult, the four big fiction categories that lead the Kindle platform in terms of sales. There's no need to take notes. If you'd like to see the full table and a lot of other metrics, just download your free copy at kalytics.com slash free report. Or if you're already a member, then you get the report and can download it in the basic report section of our members area. In fiction, romance was particularly strong. If we look at the Romance Top 100 sales rank performance over the last 18 months, we see this strong upward trend. Romance has been largely unaffected by the short dip here in April, May last year during the first lockdown periods and continued its strong performance all the way here up to July 2021. And what makes this a particularly good news is the fact that this increase in sales rank did not come at the expense of lower prices. In fact, romance ebook prices have continued their strong journey and we're now trending at around $4.25, $4.50 almost as an average across the top 100 titles. And you remember the days when that average had fallen below $3 only a few years back. In our full romance report, we cover more than 100 categories, but let's just take one highlight here of a category that's been doing particularly well over the last 18 months. This is fantasy romance. Sales ranks have improved by 157% over the last 12 months, and it's a bestseller list. You definitely want to have a closer look at the type of books that have been driving this development. In the next big genre, mystery, thriller, suspense, we see sales developments a little flatter, although also on a very strong level. With a clear uptick here in July 2021, with the beginning of the summer holidays. One particular category that struck my eye was mystery, thriller, suspense, suspense occult, where we've seen this strong 131% increase in sales rank performance over the last 12 months. The category is a bit a mixed bag of things, but you do see quite a number of paranormal, urban fantasy, haunted house, ghost, paranormal thrillers across the board here. And this category is also interesting because if you plot it on our Calytic strategy map, where every dot is a category and the higher up it is on the graph, the higher the sales rank here in this case, an average sales rank of 1,717 in the Kindle store, and the further to the right the category is, the higher the level of competition. You see this one here, Mystery Thriller Suspense, Occult is right in the middle here, but to in the green zone, it is what we call a hot niche. These are high selling categories between 2000 and 10,000 titles in competition and pretty up high up here around the 10,000 to 100 mark in the Kindle store with an average sales rank. Moving on to science fiction and fantasy, here we have a very strong sales rank performance with strong growth for the whole category. This is good news for authors and publishers in the segments. The category has taken quite a hit during the first lockdown periods last year. But ever since July 2020, we see this strong rise in sales rank. And also here, the growth did not come at the expense of dropping prices. Here we have a pretty stable development of the ebook prices in the category trending at around an average of $5.50 across the top 100. 
There is particularly good news for authors and publishers in the hard sci-fi section. Here we have a five-year trend graph to just illustrate the point. Hard sci-fi was a bit on a downward trend here ever since July 2017 for two, almost three years. And now, although it's fairly volatile, if we put a trend line through it, we've seen here this upward trend over the last 12 months. And it's probably also owing to the fact that Andy Wire's project Hail Mary following the big bestseller The Martian that has probably helped among here a couple of other evergreen titles the uh, in terms of an upward motion for the whole hard sci-fi category. On the other side of the spectrum and unsurprisingly so we see a strong downturn in post-apocalyptic and dystopian science fiction and fantasy. What's important to note though is that this downturn and increased volatility did not start necessarily just here with the with the pandemic. We see it started already before and most probably especially in the post-apocalyptic field, the downturn probably started also towards the end of this whole zombie post-apocalyptic hype and the end of the Walking Dead series. Also, let's take a closer look at teen and young adult. Here we've seen a pretty strong performance, bit of a dip towards fall last year, and now it's been growing from October, November last year to July, 2021. Teen, young adult, paranormal and urban fantasy is of particular interest with a 98% 12 month sales rank improvement. And it is a whole category that on our Kaletic strategy map has just moved into what we call the hot mainstream, still with less than 20,000 titles. That's pretty small compared to the overall Kindle universe. It's a strong category. And we just finished our 2021 urban fantasy report. So if you're interested in this genre, I'll invite you to have a look. This year we added a number of interesting pieces of analysis such as deep dive cover analysis, definitely worth checking out. If you're interested in many reports and genres and want to have access to our whole database of more than 7,000 categories with monthly updated performance data, check out our memberships at klytics.com. If you are already a member, I thank you for your continuous support. And with this, I wish you a great summer. Happy writing, happy publishing. This is Alex Newton from Klytics, ebook market intelligence for success.